All right, now that we've shown you uh, the basic boxes that you get in your shipment, we're gonna show you how to connect the ROV to the control panel. Now, we're gonna, I want to point out the differences in the end of the tether here. There's a male end and there's a female end, and those are gonna line up to the female end on the control panel and the male end on the submersible. This is, is pretty cut and dry. There's eight pins in here at a, at a specific pattern and they only fit one way. So it just takes some care to line those up nicely. These are wet connectors. Uh, so they're gonna force any water that's in there out. So they take a little bit of effort to, to get them nice and snug. And we also have a threaded locking sleeve that we're gonna put over the top of that and, make, and tighten that down. So that's the control panel end to the umbilical. And now we're going to make sure our ROV is nice and secure. Same deal, male end on the ROV, female end on the end of the umbilical, line up the pattern on the eight pins, push them together so they're nice and snug, locking threaded sleeve over the top until that's nice and tight. And the one thing we need to point out on the back of, of the ROV is this thin metal wire that's sticking out. We call this a strain relief. Um, paired with this, this nylon sleeve that we have at the end of the tether and a carabiner, we're going to transfer any weight from the connection, the tether connection, to this metal strain relief and, and nylon sleeve here. So we're just going to unscrew the, the little carabiner and we're going to lock it back up after we insert the loop of our metal strain relief. So what this does, I'm going to show you a visual on it, is it's going to take any strain away from the connection of the tether. So all your weight is being transferred uh, to the ROV and to this nylon sleeve up here. Okay, so now that our, our tether connection is correct and we're confident that uh, we're ready to power up the system, we're going to do just that.